Hey guys, this is Brian again. Uh, back with a uh, got a 695 here, but this is going to be a problem that you'll see in any airless paint sprayer that has an upper and a lower ball. So, uh, customer says that it's not wanting to build pressure, so he brought it to me to take a look at. I found out what was wrong with it, and I thought this would be a good video to shoot up here real quick. Quick, simple, easy to do. Uh, before we get started, safety, make sure you uh, wear the appropriate safety stuff. Keep an eye on pressures and electrical shock, things of that nature. As I mentioned before, <clears throat> this is a working shop, so I may have to stop my video from time to time to go help a customer on the phone or in person, but uh, you have to try to do my video straight through. So I don't know how well this is going to work because the situation is there's a sound and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this sound when the time comes, but I'm going to try it anyway. So the customer says he runs his machine. It tries to build pressure, but it keeps wanting to miss and not quite build the pressure. It wants to continue to run. So I brought it in, set it up, and the machine will build pressure and then not quite hold it. It dumps it back off, if you will. You'll, you'll notice that it doesn't quite want to stop. And if it does stop, uh, if we flip the prime valve, it'll start to run again, and then you'll you'll see it not quite catch up. But what we're listening to, you're going to hear a hissing sound. Uh, the hissing sound is going to come from right in here in the fluid section. And I'm going to try to make this a happen. So we're going to start this up. <clears throat> it'll build, it'll start to build. And then we're going to try to uh, get this thing to, to, to make the noise. And like I say, it's not going to happen every single time, but we're going to try to make it occur. So we're going to turn the machine on. We've got the pressure up. There, it happened just then. It Can you hear it? There you go, that right there. That's that's what we're looking for. And if you notice, when the machine does stop building pressure, the piston will start going in the down position while it's under pressure. So we're gonna take this off. And I'm gonna show you why the machine is doing this. So, inside of your inlet, this is your inlet housing. This is the inlet valve. There's an O-ring down in there, so this will stay down in there. We don't need that at the moment. <clears throat> that's your ball guide. That'll go in on top of the ball that's sitting in my hand. This is the ball. All right. And if you can see it, I don't, I don't want to just throw it up to the camera. So let me see if I can zoom it just a little bit. You can see... Those dimples and cuts and grooves are on the uh, the ball. <clears throat> so the way this works, your upper ball, upper and lower ball move. There's another ball on the piston in here. This ball is supposed to sit right here. When the piston goes up, it siphons it up, brings material in. When the piston comes down, it pushes it down and seals it off. So this is an on-off valve or an open-closed valve is what you have here. Oh, sorry. Let's try this again. Okay, sorry. So we got a, that's a seat. That's the ball. It sits like this. The piston goes up, sucks the ball up just a little bit, brings material in. When the piston comes back down, this ball goes down, and it stops the material from going back into the bucket. If I actually stuck my hand at the bottom of the pickup tube while it was doing this, I could feel it pushing back. So, if this ball is not in good shape, each one of those cuts and grooves that you see on there, when it's sitting there, it pushes it back down through into the bucket. So, the ball is bad. That will occur for a couple of different reasons. Uh, yeah, so I forgot where I was at, but uh, yeah, so this acts as a valve on and off. And then, them cuts, those cuts will allow it to leak back through. So, the damage can occur 
either the ball can get damaged through sand or anything else getting in there and just nicking it or this center circle here has a beveled edge and it's very difficult to see but it's a very slight bevel on both sides so if this gets damaged then it can cause this as well so that the scarring comes from the pressure pushing the paint past that ball and it will actually cut that steel matter of fact Here's a ball from a larger machine. You can see what that one looks like. It's like it's been gnawed on by a wolverine or something. So it can get pretty bad. So the seat is two-sided. So this is the side that was up. So we're going to flip it over because this side should be okay if, that, if, if in fact it is damaged. So we're going to take, I do this to make sure it don't flip over while I'm putting it back in. Drop it in the hole. Got a new ball right here. You can see the difference in the appearance, nice and shiny. Drop that in. Put the ball guide back on or back in. See it all the way down. Tighten the fluid section back up. Hit it with a hammer, which is what you're supposed to do. This is the recommended by the manufacturer. Somebody referred to this as carpentry work, but this is a ball peen, which is steel work, would be the correct term, but nonetheless, this is how you tighten it up. You don't use a wrench, it will not get tight enough. You hit it with a hammer, you gotta have it tight. Now we're gonna turn it back on. Let it prime back up. That's normal. And that's, that's, that's me activating it, by the way. Which, the reason you do that is you want that ball to move. So it hits on different places to make sure that the ball is good. If you can have a bad spot on the ball and it not be over the uh, inlet valve and you'll hold pressure but then as soon as it dumps off that ball moves and you get different areas hitting so that's pretty much all there is to it so that's a very simple fix it can it can occur on any machine tight nor gray code doesn't matter uh upper or lower ball the upper ball is a little different situation and i'll that happens to come in i'll pull one of the videos up uh, set it up and do a video on it other than that, if you got any questions, comments, or requests, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Be safe.